Hey guys, welcome to episode number 324. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday, and today I wanted to share with you how I built my DIY brine shrimp hatchery. Now most people are probably very familiar with the two liter bottle method. It's a great place to start out. It's where I started out, but I wanted to make a few design modifications to the two liter hatchery to uh, make things a little bit easier on me, to make sure that I'm hatching brine shrimp consistently every day of the week to feed to my fry. So come along with me as we learn how to be a better aquarist. All right, and here's the first look at the brine shrimp hatchery. As you can see, I have five two liter bottles set up here on the shelf. And the first thing that you'll notice is that I am using the two liter bottle, but it's connected to something. And I've never seen anyone do something quite like this, so I wanted to walk through exactly what I did. Essentially what I wanted to do was create more space, especially at the bottom, and create more of a tip to the two liter bottle than just a traditional brine shrimp hatchery setup, which would have everything kind of landing right about here where your bottle cap was. So what I did was I picked up um, this, which is actually a two liter bottle preform. Uh, you can get these on Amazon, and essentially what these are, this is a two liter bottle, it just hasn't been inflated yet. So um, this is how two liter bottles are shipped, and then when they go to the packager to actually be filled, um, they're heated and inflated into the two liter shape that's desired. But as you can see, we do have the end of that uh, bottle, and what that allows me to do is connect one bottle to another bottle. And you can see an example of that right here. And the thing that I'm using to connect those is a tornado tube. Uh, anyone who's familiar with science and science projects should know about the good old tornado tube. You uh, attach two bottles together, you swirl it around, and you get a little tornado. I figured it would be the perfect little product to attach my two bottles together, and indeed it is. And what it has allowed me to do is kind of create two chambers here to each of these brine shrimp hatcheries. And as you can see, I have my air on a rigid airline tubing going all the way down to the bottom of this culture and essentially what that allows is most of the eggs and uh, brine shrimp to stay out of this area and instead end up just swirling around up here because these tornado tubes kind of come to a point here um, which is very small which basically only allows those bubbles up but not a whole lot of water down. So I get a good rotating action in each one of these chambers. Not a whole lot gets stuck on the bottom, which is really good. And uh, the great part about it is when I turn the air off, like this one is ready for harvest, so I've turned the air off and uh, I have my little LED lamp pointed right here at the base of the bottle. What happens is 90% of the brine shrimp will swim and accumulate right here at the neck of that bottle. So what I'm able to do is take a siphon hose, just an airline hose with a rigid, rigid airline on the end, stick that right here at the neck of the bottle and siphon 90% of those brine shrimp out uh, in about five seconds, which is really convenient. Uh, I don't get any of the shells, all the shells are up here on the top and uh, the empty casings and stuff usually end up on the bottom with maybe some dead brine shrimp and uh, in that way I'm able to harvest all of those baby brine shrimp very quickly and then when I'm done what I have here is a valve uh, this is just an airline valve which has been tapped into the bottom of this uh, two liter preform to allow me to um, allow all of the water in this chamber to exit out the bottom. So if I wanted to collect them through the bottom, I could. If I wanted to just open this for a few seconds to get the junk off the bottom, I could. And when I'm done harvesting my brine shrimp, I can just open that up and let it flow into a container uh, until all of that water, all of the wastewater, uh, has exited that system. So essentially, that's the hatchery. It's been working really well for me. 
Um, I've got, you know, brine shrimp in every stage of development. This is uh, just a, an empty bottle. Um, I've mixed my salt and uh, baking soda. Here's the formula that I'm using into this bottle. And tomorrow morning, I'll add my brine shrimp to it. This morning, I added brine shrimp to this one. I added the brine shrimp to this one yesterday, and then these ones are ready to harvest. And then this one's empty, and it's ready to be cleaned. So as you can see, it's really convenient. I just every day go one bottle down the line, and I always have brine shrimp to feed to my fish. Um, this little LED lamp has been really invaluable as well. Uh, I got this as a little LED clamp light. There's one little LED in there. It stays relatively cool, and I leave this on 24 hours a day. It's generally pointed kind of at an angle at all of these uh, hatching chambers, but when I'm collecting them, I point it squarely at the neck uh, of that bottle. Uh, interesting to note, these tornado tubes come in a number of different colors, and uh, this one here happens to be clear, uh, which is basically the best one, so you can see kind of what's going on in there. I do have the Teflon tape connecting those threads together, and I have made sure to remove the little plastic ring from both sides of these bottles. Um, you can see that one up here, this little plastic ring. If you don't remove that, uh, your bottles will leak. If you don't use the Teflon tape, your bottles will leak. But otherwise, it's a pretty e easy project. I was able to drill a hole in this rack, um, which allowed me to then just place these down inside it, um, which allows me to remove those very quickly for cleaning and then I can set them back up and then they're ready to go. So that's a look at the hatchery. It's been very convenient for me and uh, it's allowed me to hatch brine shrimp every day of the week, um, which I haven't been doing, um, but now I am and uh, I can definitely see the benefit to uh, setting up an efficient, small, cheap little system uh, like this to uh, hatch enough brine shrimp for my fish room. So anyways guys, hope that gave you a few ideas and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you've already done that, and if this video has inspired you to build your own DIY brine shrimp hatchery, the links to all the products in this build are in the description below. It all goes to help support this channel and to help you be a better aquarist. Thanks.